Hi guys. So in our last video, we learned how to calculate uh, percent by volume. Just before that, we had talked about percent by mass. Those are both measures of concentration. And now we're going to learn our last measure of concentration calculation, and that is parts per million. Parts per million functions very similarly to a percentage, but with one very critical difference. So we generally only use parts per million when we are measuring very small amounts of something, and I mean very small amounts of something dissolved in something else. The formula for this is found on table T, aren't you lucky, all those formulas there. Um, an example of when we might use parts per million would be, for example, when the EPA is doing a pollution study. Um, this oftentimes happens when they think a factory is perhaps dumping waste into a waterway, like some kind of effluent into a river or into a stream. They'll do a study on that water, test it, see if the chemical is in that water, and oftentimes that amount is reported in parts per million because the quantities are exceedingly small. But oftentimes those very small quantities can have a very large effect. For example, when we're talking about mercury or lead in the water, it only takes a few parts per million to have a massively negative biological effect on an organism or indeed on a person. So the formula for parts per million is mass of solute over mass of solution. This looks exactly the same as the uh, percent by mass formula did, but here instead of multiplying by 100, we're going to be multiplying by 1 million, hence parts per million. By the way, you might have noticed that parts per million is abbreviated PPM, or parts per million. So whenever you see PPM, you know we're talking about parts per million. So let's do an example problem. So example 22, by the way, this is on page 18 of your note packet. First question is, find the concentration in parts per million if 0 0.5 three zero grams of sugar is dissolved in 700 milliliters of water. So the very first thing I want to remind you of before we attack this question is that one milliliter of water equals one gram of water, and that's specifically for water. So if we're told we have 600 milliliters of water, that means essentially we have 600 grams of water. So if you would like to try working this out for yourself, you can go ahead and do that now. And if not, I'm going to work it out for you. So our formula is PPM equals mass of solute over mass of solution times 1 million. So I'm going to take my 0 0.30 grams. That's my solute because that's my sugar. And I need to figure out the mass of my solution. And a lot of people would go straight to the 600 milliliters and go, oh, well, it's in 600 milliliters of water. But remember, your solution is your solute plus your solvent. So we have to add those together. Sorry, I know that my handwriting's super messy there. So this would be 600 plus 0 0.30 grams times 1 million, so that means we have 0 0.30 grams over, we're going to add those two together, 600.30 grams times 1 million. And when I work that out, I get 499.75 parts per million, okay? And that is my final solution in this case. No pun intended. All right, let's go to our next question. What is the total mass of solute in 100, or sorry, in 1,000 grams of solution having a concentration of five parts per million? So in this case, we're solving for our mass of our solute. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to pause for a moment if you want to try to work it out on your own. Okay, so we have our mass of our solute is our unknown. 
we're going to put that over 1,000 grams of solution. And you might be wondering, but Ms. Noel, you just said we had to like add something together down there. Only when they give you the mass of the solvent individually, you would have to account for the mass of the solute and the solvent together. But here, because they told us that the 1,000 grams is our mass of our whole solution, we don't need to do anything special. So this would be x over 1,000 grams times 1 million equals 5. So the way that I'm going to attack this is I'm going to divide both sides by 1 million to get rid of it. And then I will um, multiply that answer by 1,000. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.005 grams, because I'm essentially cross-multiplying to solve in this in instance. And that is the total mass of my solute.